in this video we're going to focus on the CSS part of our tooltip. We already created this here, but we need to do the tooltip now. I uh, for the CSS part. I thought I would skip that to move on here, but I realized we need to have this. And the reason why is that right now you can see here you have this here and it just does this here but we need to get it positioned here to see how it really works and looks like so i'm going to write some codes here and these are just basically what you can just copy along um which is really specifically for the tooltips remember this is the most important we already have two classes this is why we added class if you look at the example from the documentation they they put it directly in javascript i don't recommend that there will be 10 extra lines on javascript which could be done basically in CSS in a far shorter way, which is far more efficient. All right, so let's start with this one. The background, black. Well, what uh, what I will do is hit RGBA. And then here, of course, what we're going to do is we make it black, but with a transparency. So we want to make it a bit visual, 0 0.7. That is more than enough. Next, what we have is a border radius. Border radius. This is to give it a little round border of three pixels. I guess four pixels is quite common. It's usually a nice one next font color let's give it color white and then we have here uh, the opacity and the opacity this will become very important later on so we say opacity one by default how will we hide it later on you will notice later we will hide it by making it transparent which is brilliant by the way absolutely brilliant i'm going to remove this here all right next one we'll say the uh, point, uh, pointer events this is basically the uh, mouse. When you hover over it, do you see something? We'll just put it on not for now. Uh, next, position. Our position right now, you can see where our position is. When we went here, I put a height and width. Position went here, which is not what I want. I want the position, absolute. Later on, we're going to work with the uh, positioning, which is the other part, which is to the positioning. That will be more and more specific with regard to that. But here, all we have to say is absolute, because in JavaScript, we will get the exact position. And then we say here, transform. And what we're going to do is transform. Transform is giving an effect. And then we say here, translate, which will be eventually needed later on. Because we say here, the position will be 50%. But then we want to put it in the center, so it's half, half. And uh, later on, once you see it, you, you understand a bit more. Then we have the transition effect, so the transitioning. And transitioning is basically the movement of that effect. What will happen? And what we want to do is, for example, here is when tooltip, when you hover over here, you see the tooltip jump here. And this should be not too slow. If not, you see the tooltip slowly moving here. That doesn't make sense. You want to have it with, uh, not move it in a second, but below a second, like 100th of a second. So we say here 0 0.1 second and ease. No special effect, just basic effect. And then finally, we can do a border here if you want. We can border, maybe just to make it a bit more unique, say red, solid, two pixels. All right. If I save this, let's see what happens now. You can see here, now we have something. Of course, it doesn't work yet. It's still in the absolute positioning, although we get the design already. So the next part what we could do is the tooltip UL. So basically, the tooltip UL is the unordered list, because eventually the unordered list will define uh, certain parts within. If there will be text here, there should be items in there and it should look a bit more appropriate. So what I'm going to do here, I will just write this down. You can write along with me or code along with me. I copied this already because this will be later on very visible and useful. All right. So we say here tooltip margin zero. And then we say here, uh, list style. So list style meaning the dots on the unordered list. At the from the disk we don't want that we say none no dots no no margin no no uh, indentation as well so padding zero we put it all back to the things and then we say text align center why center i want to put the title which later on we have we put it in the center but the other text we can put maybe left or right but it's all right this this will force it to the center once we have that font weight i'll just make it bold Font family, by default, I don't know, I think it's sans, but I would say font family will be uh, sans serif, all right? And finally, we have text transform. I want to make the title eventually uh, uppercase. So text transform, 
then upper case all right save this of course here right now you will not see anything yet but you can see here there's something going on there's a dot here i'm surprised that this dot is even showing but we can double check that as well what happens here console log we can check here the elements why is the dot showing here oh of course this is the border dot right now yes so these are the border dots so if i make here the width 10 pixels you will see that this is the border border button dot. uh does it have you there you are and a height same story but do height here as well so here you basically now you have already a lot of freedom to insert anything you want so move over here do you want an image in here you can add it as well in here basically specific image or logo or etc etc all right so that's it for now this is the css part for the first one later on probably we'll have to do again a css but this is the most important one so make sure you have this so later on once we do the tooltip it will start to look nice Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.